What's up, everybody? James Duggan here with IGN Access, checking out some PC titles. We are checking out two in one interview. It's really crazy. This is Ante, and this is Nika, and they are of Crow Team. That name may sound familiar because they created Serious Sam, the first encounter, the second encounter, the third encounter, the third encounter, BFE, all the various uh, iterations, and now you have two more. You have the first encounter, VR, and you have the last hope. And they, they play very differently. So let's talk about the last hope. What were you trying to achieve uh, with that in particular? Well, James, I'm glad you asked. Uh, <laughs> we, first of all, we wanted to achieve world domination with this title. We wanted to conquer the world of VR and world in general. So I think we are doing a pretty good job with it so far. Everybody is playing it nonstop. Uh, it's, a, it's our first game only for VR. So it was created expressly for VR. Um, playing the first encounter felt a lot like playing the first encounter in PC, except you're immersed in the world. Tell me about some of the interesting mechanics in The Last Hope. Well, um, we have some new mechanics uh, on today's update. So a new planet altogether is up on Steam. It's called Shanti. So new weapons are added. Uh, there's a sniper. Uh, there's a, a katana sword. Um, and there is also a shield. Shield. There you go, shield. We were all, we, that's that's what I was trying to drive at this whole time. So let's talk about the difficulty of this game because I played a, a lot of VR shooters at this point. This one's really in your face. You have to shoot every single projectile or dodge every single projectile that comes at you. We use like this start slowly and then the game progresses. As the game progresses, it gets more hard to approach. So uh, it lets you just stand in one place, shoot the enemies. Uh, they will, of course, shoot back, but as the game progresses, you'll have to dodge or you will die. Mm. And you can check out some of this cool B-roll right here where I am, I'm doing a fantastic job dodging or maybe dancing. I'm not sure. I got confused and thought I was playing a dance game well, for a second. Well, nobody knows, but it looked amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. All right, let's switch gears. Let's talk about the first encounter, a game that uh, hopefully everybody who's watching this has played. If not, check it out on Steam. Uh, classic. 2001, I believe, is when that originally came out. But now you can play it in VR. So what did you really want to bring to the, the VR experience but keep the first encounter uh, intact the way it was? Well, those are two very different games. The first encounter in VR is a classic game that's been brought to life in this wonderful new technology. And The Last Hope is basically a love letter to arcades that we used to play when we were younger, and we still play them. They differ in a way that you move. In The Last Hope, you just basically dodge and use the room scale movement. And in the first encounter, we implemented several ways to move uh, through the VR space. Uh, we have full locomotion, uh, teleport, blink teleport. Um, we wanted to have a full, full length game, a full length FPS game uh, that's not only made for VR, so it made sense sure. to implement yeah. this. Also, world domination. <laughs> right, world domination, always important. So, what can we look forward to the future? Uh, of Sirius MVR, and can somebody talk about Fusion? So the Fusion is, we've been uh, prototyping Fusion before, so in the second encounter HD, you had a Fusion with the first encounter HD, you could play those games together, and now we're gonna bring the large Fusion between first encounter and second encounter and Sirius M3 in the flat versions, and their VR counterparts, and you'll be able, everyone who buys any of those games, gonna get a Fusion and uh, a matching uh, part of content that's supposed to be in the future. So, for, for example, if you only bought Second Encounter HD, you're going to get a Fusion for free and the Second Encounter flat version inside of Fu Fusion. And with that, you can play together, for example, between VR and flat versions. You can use Workshop together. Like if there's a player model for Fusion, you can use it in any of those games in the, in the Workshop. Uh, in VR, non-VR, and all of those games are going to have support for both Windows and Linux and OS X, and they're, uh, they're all going to have like newest feature we had, like split screen and everything. 